Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. My name is Nisha. Welcome to my channel. Who's ready for a haul? Who's ready for a huge haul? You guys know when I do it, I do it big. <laughs> so I need to do this haul so I can find place on my shelves to pack away these stuff because they just have them hanging around. And sometimes when they're in bags or I have them put aside, I forget to use them. So I want to put them up and enjoy these fragrances. So if you want to see what I got, please stay tuned. Oh, by the way, some is PR. Most of them I bought, I think, yeah. So stay tuned. So if you're watching this after that video, you probably would have seen that I sampled this fragrance and I had to purchase it. I fell head over heels in love with this fragrance. And let's start it off with a bang. And this is from the House of Oud. <laughs> I love the green. And this is... Oh, I have it in a box still because this literally came last night. Guys, this is Bomb Bomb Pop. Ooh, child. Let me get this out. This is Bomb Bomb Pop. Look, look, look. Let me try to focus. Maybe I could get it. Oh, there it is. This is so pretty. Oh, my goodness. Yes. So, Bomb Bomb Pop. What does she smell like? This is sweet. Mmm. This is woody. It's coconut. It's ambery. It's a little bit lactonic. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Guys, I sampled this at uh, Niche Essence. You can purchase the, this at Niche Essence as well. But So Avant Garde sells this if it's ever in stock because as soon as it comes up, it goes away. Now, this I purchased with my own money, but this you could find it at So Avant Garde. Keep your eyes peeled. If I see it come back in stock, I'll post it on my community page. But guys, this sells out like hot bread, okay? It smells amazing. And you could use my 20% discount code at Suavangard to purchase this. This smells so good, guys. This opens up with... Mm. I need, let me find some skin for this, okay? Because this, when it starts... Mm. Oh, God. It starts off with peach, coconut, and bergamot. So it's bright and zesty and fruity to the opening with that coconut. But the more this dries down is the sweeter it gets on my skin. In the mid, we have patchouli and jasmine. And in the base, we have musk, we have precious woods, brown sugar, and amber. Guys, oh my goodness. I did buy a decant. No, I didn't buy a decant. I got a decant of this. And as I said, I sprayed my whole entire life down with this thing. And I enjoyed every moment of this fragrance. It smells incredible. This is, I would say, is a safe blind buy. The other fragrances from House of Oud, I would say sample first. But this one, this one right here, is delicious. So this is my first one. Let's start it off with a bang, okay? From the House of Oud. I know you saw this one on my channel already, but I had to add it to my haul video because a lot of people don't watch all my videos and they just love hauls. So this one is Minnie Mouse from the House of Siage. I have been wanting this for so, so long and I'm so happy it's in my collection. As I said, I'm not gonna rave and rant about it because I did it in a couple videos already. This is whipped cream, it's marshmallow, it's fruity, it's delicious, it's sexy, it's girly, it's gourmand, it's everything, everything and more. And the packaging, stunning. So this is Minnie Mouse from the House of C.I. This fragrance has been on my mind since I heard it had the note of mango. Guys, this is from Mind Games and this is Blockade. Now, I didn't get to smell this one when I went to the counter. So I just went with the notes. I just saw mango and I'm like, I need that one. Blockade from Mind Games. Guys, this is mango, bergamot, pink pepper, in the, uh, and tomato leaf. Ooh. In the mid, we have um, mango blossom, lavender, star anise, watery, cinnamon, whatever that is, uh, patchouli, amber, suede, and agarwood. This smells bright, fresh, and citrusy with that mango note. The mango in here, oh, this mango is delicious guys i wore this a few times already and it lasted a very long time the mango is beautiful in this fragrance but the dry down of this reminded me so much of creed aventus for him 
but switch the pineapple and add mango. So if that sounds delicious, it is, okay, it is. This smells so beautiful. This is totally, totally unisex. I love, love, love. So you think about that DNA of Creed Aventus with mango instead of pineapple. Hello. This is stunning. I really, really enjoy this. It lasted a long time. I wore it a few times. I even wore to go to the gym and I'm like, the more I sweat, the more I smell. I'm like, wow, I smell incredible. Guys, incredible. No, I didn't get no compliments. So I don't know, but I'll wear it again. Maybe I'll get a few. <laughs> But guys, I could smell myself. I could smell myself. And I know people could smell me. But you know, sometimes people just don't want to say nothing, especially probably in the gym. Guys, this smelled so, so delicious. So if you love mango as much as I do, you need to check this out. Some might say it leans slightly masculine. To me, it's totally unisex. Anybody could wear this fragrance. So yeah, this is Blockade from the House of Mind Games. And guys, I do have a 10% discount. You know, this will ever go on sale but you have to use a discount code on the Mind Games website. So if you want 10% discount, check it out. Use my name. I'll put the, um, the information in the description. So check this out. Blockade by Mind Games. Extremely delicious and bright and fresh. It's perfect, perfect for summer. Since this fragrance was released, I have been eyeing it and drooling over it because I heard so many incredible reviews on this that I had to get it. This is from Mi Sincere, and this is Ambre Magique. The bottle is beautiful. It's just a simple, clean, white bottle. This is your amber fragrance, but it's not your typical heavy amber. This is ambery. It's warm, it's spicy, it's a little bit citrusy. Let me give you the notes for this because trust me, when you when you hear the notes and you smell this, you're like, hmm. It's, it's, when you hear, when you think about amber, trust me, I have so much ambers and this is nothing like I have in my collection. It starts off bright. You get that citruses in it. I pick up the cardamom in this for sure. So you get the citruses and the cardamom starts peeking through and then I get rose. So it's that amberiness with a little bit of freshness, but the rose is coming through in this. I smell the rose through the life of this um, fragrance. There's something called cashalox ambergris and vanilla this smells so beautiful as i said it's airy it's light it's sophisticated it's spicy but not too spicy it's ambery but not too um guys i cannot tell you how this smells unless you actually smell this fragrance i couldn't understand from the description or what people said is when i smelt it for myself i'm like oh wow it's so different I know you're probably thinking, oh, you have so much ambers in your collection. Trust me, you do not have an amber like this. It's beautiful, it's light, it's not too much, but it's giving, it's sexy, it's date night, it's everything. And guys, you could purchase this at So Avant Garde using my 20% discount code. Yes, this was gifted to me as well as, um, what's the other one? Mind Games. But this smells incredible. This was on my to buy list for so long, so I'm so happy they sent it to me. Thank you so much, So Avant Garde. Guys, please use my discount code to support me. Thank you in advance. <laughs> but listen, I would have purchased this with my own damn money because I've been eyeing it for so long and I'm so happy that I have it. If you don't believe me, check other reviews. It's good. Okay, moving this on. This other one I spoke about in one of my other videos. So I know you heard about this. I have like a full review on this fragrance. And this is from Narcotica and this is Narco Oasis. I purchased this with my own money and I absolutely love it. When I saw the notes of this, I was like, uh, this makes me drool. When I smell it, I want to, guys, this has passion fruit. This is your passion fruit dream. This is fruity it, with that passion fruit. It's delicious. It's airy and it's just gorgeous. I'm not going to go too much into this because I know you heard me talk about it. But guys, when I tell you, I love it. I absolutely love it. And guys, the atomizer on this, just, just, oh my God. Mm. Mm so bright and citrusy with that mm, passion fruit if you love the note of passion fruit there's no way in hell you're not gonna like this okay so check it out i know i have a full review on this a dedicated review on this fragrance but i just wanted to add it in my haul and this is navitas perfume and this is ambrosia imperial this is the collab with ai the great if you don't know 
I absolutely love this fragrance. It smells incredible. It's sexy. It's long lasting. It's fluffy. It's gourmand. It's chef's kiss. So this is Ambrosia Imperial from Navitas. As I said, I have a dedicated review on this. So if you want to hear more in depth, go check it out. This other one I saw everybody talking about and I had to purchase it is uh, Coconut Bananas from Rihanna, not Rihanna, Rihanna <laughs> perfumes. This is one that I absolutely love as well. This Teresa from Unboxing with Teresa made me buy this because the way how she raved about it. This is sweet. It's tropical. It's fruity. You definitely get the coconut in this fragrance. It's fresh. There's some white floral nuances in this. But it's a really tropical, beautiful coconut scent. If you're looking for that vibe, this one for sure. Pro longevity and uh, projection. I know people say it's long lasting and all that. To me, it was moderate on me. I can't say it was wow, but it was good enough. I could smell it and people could smell it. This smells so beautiful. Now, it's not just coconut in this fragrance. Let me see if I could pull up some notes real quick. This has pineapple, coconut, peach, frangipani, tiare flower, musk, and saffron. Okay, think about all that. It's delicious, okay? It is beautiful. I definitely pick up the pineapple and the peach. And of course, the coconut to me is the main player. This smells beautiful. So this is Coconut Nanas from Rirana. Guys, when I went to the store and the girl sprayed this on me, I was like, this is the packaging. This is the newest focus man this is the newest release from burberry and this is goddess listen now it's nothing groundbreaking it's nothing like you know nothing like wow you have to get it or whatever but when i sprayed this all i felt was beautiful it's a feminine sexy playful fragrance it is so good I smelt it and I kept smelling it. I'm like, I don't know what it is in this fragrance that makes me coming back. I got a few samples and I get, I just kept spraying it and spraying it. This has notes of vanilla, lavender, cacao, and ginger. In the mid, we have vanilla caviar. And in the base, we have vanilla absolute. No, kill me dead. I smell some sort of marshmallow or something in this. This smells a little bit lactonic. It smells a little bit marshmallowy. It's Oh my God. Yes, I get the lavender in this. Mm, it's so pretty. As I said, it's nothing groundbreaking. You might have smelled something like this. Maybe it might remind you of something. I don't know and I don't care because I bought it, okay? I just like it. You know, I have all these niche fragrances, but sometimes just the simple ones just catches and grabs your attention and you're like, damn, I like it and I smell good. So I had to go purchase this fragrance. As I said, this is a new release and I would definitely recommend this fragrance. If you like that pretty girl vibe, it's sweet, it's vanilla, it's fluffy, it's playful. To me, it's a little bit lactonic, kind of like, I don't know, it's just sweet and delicious. This is a beautiful summer gourmand. Should have added that in my summer gourmand video. Anyway, I had so much day. Guys, listen, I love it. I purchased it and I would say yes, definitely go get your nose on this because it's pretty, it's really nice, and it lasted a really good time. I mean, it didn't disappear on me. It lasted more than eight hours because I could smell it on my skin. Guys, this is Burberry Goddess. I really love the chain. The packaging is really nice. Come on, focus, man. Let me put it by me. <laughs> there it is. Now, this other one, I know you saw it on my channel already because I spoke about it, but I'm just adding it to my haul because this is what I've hauled in the last past month or so. And guys, this was a blind buy and I fell head over heels in love with this fragrance. This is another mango fragrance and this is from Uniki Luxury and this is Mango Nificent. Guys, one hell of a beast of a fragrance. I smell incredible. You have to love mango and you have to love patchouli because those are the two main notes. But when I tell you this is a heavy hitter, I wore this one day and I went to Costco. I sprayed myself all over and I went. I'm minding my own business and this guy came up to me. He's like, I can smell you 10 feet away from me. I'm like, oh, was it good? He smiled. He's like, yeah. I said, okay. He's like, okay, Nisha. And I'm like, what the hell? The guy called my name. I'm like, 
bro how do you know me he's like yeah i'm subscribed to your channel so if you're looking hey you know who you are i was so nice that was so sweet it's so nice to meet subscribers and he's like so i was leaving he's like well wait what is it i'm like it's the green bottle it's mango nificent he smells he said it smells really good so guys this left a central in costco okay and i absolutely love this fragrance so note this one is either you love it or you hate it i had i heard a lot of bad reviews but then i also heard a lot of good reviews so this is one of my best blind purchases mango nificent now i have a dedicated review on these two as well and this was sent to me in pr and this is from kayali and this is the wedding collection i have a dedicated review so i'm not going to go too much into it but i absolutely love it i love these so much i love the men as well and it's like oh my god they're so beautiful and so different at the same time i love the sandalwood in this as well but this is limited edition so i'm going easy on it i don't want to waste it because i don't know when it's going to come back or if it's going to come back but if i do see it come back and it's like permanent on the website I'll start going ham on this because I really want to wait, but then again, I really want to save it. So when I see it come back, then I'll start killing this. So this is Kayali, and this is the wedding collection. So beautiful. So, so beautiful. This one was sent to me over from Orientica, and this is Amber Noir. I did a little TikTok, a little reel on this, and guys, when I tell you, this is so good, so long-lasting, but if you're looking for a dupe for Santel 33, you guys know how much I love Santel 33 and how much bottles we went through in this house check this out i'm telling you this is santal 33 in a bottle i sprayed this and i sprayed santal 33 and i went to my daughter because as i said we in this house so familiar with santal 33 because everybody loves it i said to halia which one is which she could not tell me she chose this one and said it was santal <laughs> that's to tell you how close it was i sprayed this and i went to my husband who loves santal He's like, you're in Santal. I'm like, no, bruh, it's this. So if you're looking for a dupe baby and you want to save some coins because Santal expensive, check this out. No lie, it's amazing. Another one they sent me was from the Orientica ex exclusive EXO collection. And this is the bottle. This is the red one. There's another red one that I have that I wasn't too fond of. But this one is, yeah, it's a dupe for um, 540X Street very potent very very strong so if you're looking to not spend the coins on the extra that's why i don't own the extra as yet i have the original but i have so much dupes that it's so good like you can't tell the difference so i haven't bought it yet so this is another one from orientica what else do i have oh my god i almost forgot this this is from al harmin and guys, I did a little TikTok on this one too. And this is Amber Oud. This smells so good. Listen, this is like Amber Oud gold. You know, the gold one that smells like Ubapura. That has the opening, the DNA of that. But this has some Oud in the base. So it gives those fruits a little bit of oomph. Um, this smells so freaking good because you get the sweetness and the juiciness of the fruits. But there's a nice underlying background of that oud smells incredible it really kicked this up a notch if you're looking for a little something different but still fruity and playful check this out this is amber oud from um al harmin but this is the private edition this is the black plated one guys when i tell you it smells good it smells good with that little bit of oud in the background with those fruits really kicked it up a notch i ain't gonna lie i ain't gonna lie this other one i literally just got it like yesterday or something from Karna Barcelona and this was sent to me it's so cute because I didn't even know they had these little bottles it's called Supermoon I requested this because I, I, I sampled it and I really liked it but I wasn't expecting this tiny bottle <laughs> but it's super cute guys look at this <laughs> this is a 30 ml and this is Supermoon I love the bottle but this is like a nice little travel size but I want the big bottle to match with the rest of them. Oh, stop whining, Nisha. God, this smells so good. This is the perfect summer scent. This is, it's woody. It's a little bit fruity. Let me get a strip to spray this because I have so much stuff on me that. Oh my God. It's so bright and fresh. A little bit earthy, a little bit woody. Let me get the notes for this. 
I only wore this once last night. I didn't really get to wear this to play with it. It opens bright with pomegranate, cassis, and mandarin. When I smelled this in the opening, I thought it had um, blackberry. It had that blackberry vibe, like, you know, the opening of blackberry and bay from Jumalone House has that blackberry smell. I kind of got that. It has jasmine, uh, white amber, lily of the valley. I don't get jasmine. It has patchouli, vetiver, and musk. All these heavy notes, but this is a very light, airy, playful scent. Very refreshing. It's nice for a hot day. I don't know how long and all that it lasts because, as I said, I recently just got this. So I just sprayed it up on me last night. I went to bed and it smelled really nice. Now, I didn't smell it this morning. I don't think it's that long lasting, but the scent profile, it's so nice. This is your white t-shirt and jeans kind of vibe. I really enjoy it. That top note, I could smell it so much. That pomegranate, that pomegranate, as I said, it, I feel like it has blackberry in it as well. So nice, so bright, so fresh. This teeny bottle is going to be done in two seconds <laughs> because although this is a 30 ml, it's a lightish fragrance, so I will go heavy on it, but this is perfect to throw in my bag and just refresh. So I need to get a full size bottle of this. Does it even come in big bottles? I don't know. Because usually that the brand will send me a big bottle, so probably doesn't. I don't know. Let me know. I need a big bottle of this. It's amazing. I really, really like it. And I'm going to kill this for the rest of the summer because uh, it smells real good. And I like the blue one too from Cana Barcelona. This smells really, really nice. It's so nice and... Mm, yeah. Bright and fresh and clean and... You just want to spray and spray and spray. I do have a discount code for this, so check my description again. Thank you so much for sending this over. <laughs> Send me a big bottle, please. I really, really like it. I need to find it. I need to find this and see if they actually come in big bottles. It's so good. Anyway, I think that's it, is it? Let me make sure. I almost forgot this fragrance. This is from the brand Mason de Abba. I think that's how you pronounce it. And this is Sovereign. Comes in this very nice box. I think this is an indie house. Look at this. It looks like the fragrance Dubois bottles, isn't it? Well, kind of. This is very woody. Let me give you the notes for this. It has coconut, rum, peach, mandarin, orange, agarwood, warm hearts of tobacco, tonka bean, gardenia, jasmine, ambergris, orris, woody base of Chinese cedar, vanilla, sandalwood, labdanum. Yeah. This, when I first spread it, I liked it, but I didn't love it. It kind of threw me off guard because all those bright, fresh notes, I thought it was going to be lighter. But to me, this is a nice heavy hitter for the winter, like fall, winter time. Ooh, you know, I haven't worn this since I tried it that the first time I got it. And it smells so different. I'm really liking it now. I get those light. It doesn't smell as when I just got it. Oh my goodness, it's so true when they say when you just get a fragrance and it's been moving around traveling. Just let it sit, spray it and let it sit for a while. This smells really nice. I get the coconut, I get the freshness of it. But the oud, I get the, the woodiness, the heaviness to the base as well. It's a nice combination of both. This one I would not say is a blind buy. Test this out first, but this smells nice. I cannot wait when it really gets chilly to start wearing this. I think that's when it's going to bloom. Right now as it's summer, you know, you want all those freshies and all that. I think that's what's throwing me off a bit. But this smells really nice this time around. Oh my goodness. I wasn't getting this the first time. Okay. So now I want to wear you and see how you actually play on my skin. Because when I just got it, as I said, I had liked it, but I wasn't in love with it. It was quite different. But I am liking it. Okay. So anyway, guys, I think that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Some of these fragrances you might have seen before. As I said, some of PR, some is what I purchased. I leave all my links in the description. So feel free to support me with my links. Thank you so much again. And if you're not yet subscribed and it's your first time seeing me, I hope you like my vibe and uh, feel free to subscribe because it's free. Follow me on Instagram and on TikTok where we have lots of fun. And until next video, guys, be safe, be kind, and smell fabulous. Bye now.